Do you know Alexander? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Nice Hello. to hear that. Were you in class yesterday? All right. Uh, yesterday, no. No. Okay. Well, yesterday we started to study some topics for um, the section number three. Are you in the WhatsApp group? Oh. Okay, uh, yesterday I sent the materials for this section number three. And in this, okay. we're going to start, uh, well, we started with the conversation yesterday. I remember that Glenda, welcome to the class. Glenda, we're practicing this conversation with Pedro, right? Hello. So, yeah. Yeah, you practice this conversation with Pedro, but we did not complete the part B. Okay, so I'm going to play the recording for you to complete the part B. Can you read the instructions, Alexander? Okay, the instructions said, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? Do you remember she was um she was looking for uh for gloves, right? And she was also checking the scarf, right? What else does the customer look at? Okay, this is the information that we need to gather. What else does the conversation, the, the customer look at and also answer whether if the customer buy it or not? Ready for the listening? I'm going to share it now. Okay, listen, try to answer these two questions. Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Oh, yeah? I need a new hat. They're on sale today only. Oh, they are nice. This red one is pretty. How much is it? It's $26.50. Mm, I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Did you get it? Or do you want to listen one more time? Do you want to listen again? One more time. Okay. Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Oh, yeah? I need a new hat. They're on sale today only. Oh, they are nice. This red one is pretty. How much is it? It's $26.50. Mm, I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Okay, what else does the customer look at? Aún no lo entendí. <laughs> okay, the last, uh, well, she was asking about gloves and also a scarf. Now, let's listen one more time. Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Oh, yeah? I need a new... That was it? Yeah. What is it?
Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Uh -huh. We have some nice of it over here. No sé qué dijo. <laughs> Listen. We nice have hat. some nice hats over here. Over here? Before over here. We have some nice... Nice hats. Exactly. Nice hat. Nice hat over here. And now, does she buy it? Oh, yeah? I need a new hat. They're on sale today only. Oh, they are nice. This red one is pretty. How much is it? It's twenty-six fifty. Mm, I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Does she buy it? Uh, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Excellent. Okay. Did you see the street? Can you see the street? Pueden ver ahí las letritas. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to play the listen one more time para que uh, check in. Page 16, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Oh, yeah? I need a new hat. They're on sale today only. Oh, they are nice. This red one is pretty. How much is it? It's twenty-six fifty. Mm, I don't think so. Thanks anyway. So yes, they were uh, talking about hat, and she didn't buy. <laughs> so that's it. Yesterday, I shared with you this document and. Uh, that is where we started yesterday, the section number three. This is in your WhatsApp group. And we started yesterday with the colors, the meaning. We practiced this conversation, and now we have completed the party. Now, for the grammar focus, we have the demonstratives. Let me play the audio for you, and then we're going to explain a little bit about it. Page 17, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Demonstratives. 1. Ones. How much is this scarf? How much is this one? How much is that scarf? How much is that one? Which one? The yellow one. It's twenty four ninety five. How much are these gloves? How much are these? How much are those gloves? How much are those? Which ones? The gray ones. They're eighteen dollars. So well, that is the primary purpose for today. Do you have any question? Any question about this grammar focus? No. No question? Vocabulary? Okay. So in this, uh, we're going to be discussing about the demonstrations and how to say prices in English. As you can see here, uh, to start with the prices, we're going to start from here. If you're talking about cents, we specify, okay? Si vamos a um, dar un precio y solamente son centavos, si se especifica que son centavos, como ven ahí en el ejemplo, 79 cents. Y si lo vamos a escribir el precio en centavos, primero se escribe la cantidad y luego el símbolo de centavos. Es diferente al de dólar. 
vean acá, se parece bastante al signo de, que teníamos de, de Colón. Entonces se escribe primero los, la cantidad eh, y luego pues, el símbolo de centavos. Seven, nine, cent. Entonces, como les repito, cuando son centavos sí se especifica cent. Y según el audio que escuchamos en la conversación, se recuerdan que aquí el precio solo dice they are 18. Solo dice they are 18. No dice dólares. Cuando son las cantidades en dólares, no es necesario especificar dólares, solamente cuando es centavos. Pero lo puede decir igual y no, no es eh, que esté incorrecto. Como ven aquí el ejemplo, aquí sí dice 18 dólares. Okay. El símbolo de dólar va aquí, sí, y luego la cantidad dice 18 dólares. Ahora, cuando son dólares y centavos, no se especifica, se entiende que la primera cifra son los dólares. Si ven acá, 24, that is eh, la cantidad en dólares. Y la siguiente cifra son centavos, 95. No dice dólares en cents, no. Ya se entiende que la primera cifra son los dólares y la siguiente son centavos. 24, 95. Ese es eh, cuando estamos con los de los precios. Ahora, con los demonstratives. Eh, acá pueden ver cuál es la diferencia. Primero vamos a hablar de la diferencia entre this, that, this y those. Aquí los tenemos acá, se los agregué en el material que les mandé en el grupo de WhatsApp. Adjetivos demostrativos. Ok, y aquí está el significado también para que quede ahí documentado. En el Singular, this. Plural, this. That is for singular and for plural is those. What is the difference? La diferencia es la, la distancia, ¿verdad? Ok. Si es singular y lo tenemos cerca, usamos this. Como tenemos el ejemplo acá, this, that is small. Estamos mostrando, estamos mostrando el gato. This cat is small. Y decimos que este gato es pequeño. This cat is small. Es singular, lo tenemos cerca. Ahora, si estuviera lejos, utilizaríamos that. Okay. That cat is small. Estamos diciendo aquel gato. Aquel gato es pequeño. Entonces, recuerden, singular cerca, this. Singular lejos, that. Ahora, si es para plural y lo tenemos cerca, usamos this. Acá tenemos la ilustración. These cats are small. Si están lejos, es those. Those cats are small. Es como decir aquellos, aquellos gatos son grandes. Entonces, recuerden, esto es para plural. Si están cerca, these. Si están lejos, those. ¿Ok? ¿Preguntas? ¿Está claro? Ok. So remember that. Eh, y la pronunciación aquí, this, es diferente a aquella. Esta es this y este es más larguito. This, 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 this. Esa es la diferencia en cuanto a pronunciación. Otra cuestión que les quería mencionar es el one y once. Esto se utiliza para evitar repeticiones. Por ejemplo, aquí, how much is this scarf? Estamos preguntando cuánto cuesta esta bufanda. How much is this scarf? Entonces, para evitar repetir scarf, vamos a usar one. Como decir esta, this one. Ya se sabe que nos estamos refiriendo a la bufanda. Entonces, el one se utiliza para singular. Y si fuera plural, once. ¿Ok? How much are these clothes? Which one? ¿Cuáles? Siempre el once, refiriéndose a los one. Eso es como para evitar repetición. So remember, si queremos evitar una repetición usando el demostrativo en singular sería one. Y para plural, once. Cuando están dando el precio y es un objeto singular, se usa its. Por ejemplo, cuando volvemos a lo de la bufanda. How much is this scarf? ¿Cuánto cuesta la bufanda? Está preguntando por una bufanda. Entonces, it's 
2495 porque es singular. Ahora, si preguntamos por artículos en plural, como por ejemplo los guantes, es plural. Eh, how much are these gloves? They are. They are a team. Eso es para decir precios. Remember, if it is singular, it's and the price. If it is plural, they are and the price. Do you have any questions so far? No questions. No question. No okay. question. Good. And then uh, let, to continue with this, uh, we have this exercise is to complete the conversations. So we have to look at the picture and complete using the information that we have here in the grammar office. Remember that if you are working with your computer and you are using your um, PDF, you just need to click the T in order to add the text. Now, completing the conversation, as you can see here, uh, you see this lady is wearing, um, well, she has a kind of identification here. So she is the sales person, she's the clerk. And she is the customer in the picture number one. She's the customer and this is the clerk. As you can see, starting with a question, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Uh, porque ella está lejos de los jeans, entonces por eso está utilizándose those. Aquí como ven acá, those. Entonces completamos, excuse me, how much are those jeans? A lo que la vendedora responde, yeah, which? Para no repetir jeans, ¿cuál diría la vendedora? Which ones? Excellent. Entonces aquí damos clic en texto y agregamos. Which ones? Okay. Which ones? Do you mean, y así vamos a ir completando, tomando en cuenta eh, la información que acabamos de discutir acá en el grammar topic. Eh, les voy a dar tiempo para que completen las conversaciones. Recuerden tomar en cuenta lo que ven aquí en las ilustraciones y lo que vimos en el grammar topic.
Have you finished? Creo que sí. Finish. Hey, let's check your work. Uh, volunteers for the first conversation, the part A. We have it done. Excuse me, how much are these jeans? And then for the B, we said, which ones? Do you mean this? Do you have this? Do you mean this? Next part. What do you have? No, the light blue. One. One. Once. Aha, uh -huh. yes. The light blue ones. Good. Oh. They are. Oh, okay. If you write those, it's okay. If it's they, it's okay too. Si pusieron they, está bien. They are y el precio. All those are $59.95. That's okay. Si pusieron they, está correcto también. Pero la opción que me da aquí es those. But that's okay. Um, wow, that's expensive. And then that conversation is done. What about number two? Conversation two. What do you have? How much is this backpack? How much is this backpack? Yo, yo lo tengo. How much is that backpack? Okay, let's check that. Uh -huh. The correct answer is that. Porque el señor está al otro lado del mostrador, lo que indica que el, eh, la mochila le queda un poco lejos. Por eso la respuesta correcta es that. How much is that backpack? Very good. Eh, part B, which? Which one? One. One. Which one? Excellent. Which one? The red one. The red one. Excellent. Mm -hmm. The red one. And then? It's $36.99, but... But Number the five. green back, the, but the green one. Okay, let's see. Excellent. This green one, uh -huh. this green one is only twenty two twenty five. That's not bad. Can I see it, please? And then we finish that the conversation. Volunteers to our play. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, Douglas, uh, you are A, and can someone help with part B? Me. Um, Linda, thank you so much. So you do the two conversations, Douglas, you are A, and Linda, you are B. Excuse me, how much are those things? Which ones do you mean this? This. No, they like blue ones. Oh, those are fifty nine ninety five. Wow, that's expensive. How much is that backpack? Which one? The red one. Is thirty six ninety nine. But this green one is only 22, 25. That's not bad. Can I see? Can I, perdón. Can I? Can I see it? Yes. Sí, me quise corregir. No pude. Uh, that's okay. Can, can, so, I, uh -huh. can I see it, please? Great. Excellent. Can I see it, please? Uh -huh. Together. Now you Excuse start, me. Glenda. You start now. You are A. You begin with A and Douglas continue. 
Excuse me, how much are those things? Which ones do you mean this? No, the light blue ones. Oh, those are the nine ninety five. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, bueno, sí, yo. how much is that backpack? Which one? The red one. It's thirty six ninety nine, but this green one is only twenty two twenty five. That's not bad. Can I see it, please? Okay, you did it excellent. A veces los números como que cuesta un poquito, pero lo hicieron excelente. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Do we have two more volunteers? Hay más voluntarios? No? Okay, to continue here, um, we have a couple of things here and the exercise is to add prices to the item and then ask and answer the question. Um, okay, tenemos uh, sunglasses. Uh, uh, then we have two shelter. This is like a Blackberry. <laughs> and we have a couple of scarves. Uh, well, we need to add a price. Uh, how much would you assign to the pink glasses, Glenda? Hola. ¿Cuánto le pondría a los rosados? Uh, 20. Oh, 20. Sounds less than 20 dollars. Right. And uh, Douglas, how much for the black ones? Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen? Yes. Okay. Guillermo. <laughs> the Motorola. <laughs> that is like a star. <laughs> I remember. Okay, Guillermo. How much for the black sunlight? Um, I put it uh, No sé, quiero ver unos en ninety five. Ninety five. Okay, uh -huh. sounds good. Let's add ninety five. Pero pasó de moda. It's ninety five. Uh -huh. Okay, and for the red one. Eh, este le pusieron unos. Five, uh, five, five. Se dice oh, 55. 55. 55, yeah. Okay, 55. <laughs> now, for the orange scarf, Glenda, how much the orange scarf? Five dollar. Five dollar? That is really cheap. Okay. And the light blue one? <laughs> five dollars okay thank you so much and we have some useful expressions here we can say that's cheap oh that's cheap that's reasonable that's okay or you can say that's not bad or that's expensive do we have any question about the vocabulary? That's reasonable. Uh -huh. Reasonable. Re? Reasonable. Uh -huh. Reasonable. That is reasonable. reasonable. Ah, okay. Very good, Linda. One more time. Reasonable. Reasonable. Very good. Thanks. That is reasonable. Es cuando nos parece un precio razonable, que no está caro, no está barato. Okay. And that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Any other? 
Any other question about the vocabulary? No. That chips. I see that that that, that chip. chip. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That chip. Es cuando algo nos parece barato. That chip. Y la última. That's expensive. That is. Uh huh. That's expensive. Es cuando oh, that's expensive. Cuando algo nos parece algo caro. Es caro. Caro. Oh, that's expensive. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No question. No question. Okay, so with that, um, let's see. We have a short sample conversation there. And can someone read the part A? Can someone read the part A? Guillermo? Perdón. Uh, can you read this short conversation here? Eh, tenemos una conversación que está corta ahí. Eh, dice, how much are these sunglasses? Y luego la parte de que dice, which one? Volunteers to write by this conversation? Me. Uh, okay, I have two guys. Me. Me. Or Guillermo. Okay. Sí. Douglas, you are A and Guillermo, you are B. Okay. How much are these some classes? Uh, what one? Ones. The pink ones. Uh, there's uh, there is six night to night. That's expensive. Hay uh, una pregunta. Ajá. Y vamos a utilizar los precios que le pusimos ahorita. Ah, uh, yes. Es, esto es ahorita es solo como para eh, um, el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Son ah, los okay. que están acá. Pero utilizaríamos los precios que le pusieron. Ay, perdón, me salí del documento. Ah, vamos otra vez. Le agregamos centavos para ponerlo un poquito más difícil. <ríe> No, that's okay. Yes. <laughs> Yo le voy a agregar centavos porque las, las, um, y vamos a poner centavitos aquí como no muy usual. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice punto? Eh, el punto, cuando mencionamos los precios, no se menciona el punto y aquí ya arruiné el documento. Eh, lo que les mencionaba al principio es que los, eh, ay, ¿dónde está el signo de dónde? Ay, se me perdió. Para ver aquí, me lo vi. Ok, eh, el punto no se menciona, era lo que estábamos viendo. Déjenme hacer este documento grande, porque no sé por qué se me subscribe. Ok, there we have. Um, cuando mencionan los dólares y son redondos, solo se dice, por ejemplo, aquí diríamos 95. El precio es de 95. 95. Pueden decir dólares, está bien, no importa. Pero cuando son centavos, menciona el, el punto. Solo se entiende que la primera cantidad serán los dólares y la segunda los centavos. Por ejemplo, aquí 95. Y luego mencionamos la siguiente cifra que sería 24, los centavos. El punto no, no se menciona. Ok, uh, let me add. Eh, otro punto importante que les quería mencionar es que cuando es, quiero ver. cuando son artículos como por ejemplo los sunglasses, eh, no sé si ya lo sabían, pero les menciono, aunque solo vea, por ejemplo, los lentes rosados, nosotros decimos es uno, es un artículo, pero como la palabra es plural, sunglasses, sunglasses se toma como si fuera un plural. Así es que cuando mencionemos los sunglasses, lo vamos a tomar en cuenta la información como eh, plural. Por ejemplo, al dar el precio de los sunglasses, Dice, dice, they are. 
$86.99. They are $86.99. Porque aunque solo sea un objeto, pero como la palabra es como plural, sunglasses, se toma como tal. Igual lo sucede con los jeans. Aunque solo sea un pantaloncito, pero como la palabra en sí es plural, jeans, entonces uh, así, así se trabaja, como si fuera un plural. Eh, eso era con respecto a las clases de Ok, now let's work. Vamos a hacer los role plays así sin escribir nada, pero ahí tienen los ejemplos, ¿verdad? So you have the examples there. How much? So remember, if I ask you, uh, for example, Douglas, how much is the cell phone? Which one? Ah, the red one. It's fifty-five, seventy-five. Oh, that's cheap. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Así que me lo en bolsa que me lo llevo. <laughs> okay, now Douglas, continue with someone else. Ahora usted escoge su compañero o compañera para un rol de y ahí tienen los precios y los artículos. Ok, puedo elegir cualquiera, ver. Yes, Guillermo ¿Eh? en Glenda, creo que Glenda. por ahí estaba Alfredo, no sé si todavía está ahí, pero va a estar como oh. cliente, nada más dijo. No, ya se desconectó, creo. Ok, Hello, pues Glenda. How much are these sunglasses? Which ones? The black ones. They are uh, 35, uh, 15. That's expensive. Okay, very good. Now, Glenda, continue with Guillermo. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice el cosito rojo? ¿Cómo se llama? <risa> eh, that is a cell phone. Eh, es un celular también. No más celular. Que... Ajá. Yo lo vi como una cosa de juego. El no beeper. <risa> no, ahí tiene... <risa> ahí tiene una cosita de... <risa> tiene un sobrecito como de mensaje. Ah, bueno. Y las, las, las cosas de la bufanda, ¿cómo se dice? Scarf. ¿Cómo? Scarf. Scarf. Uh -huh. Ahí okay. le voy a escribir en el chat de la meeting. Scarf. Scarf. Okay. Uh, how much? Espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. Perdón, perdón. How much is car? Is this car? Is this car? Eh, vamos a ver. Eh, 55, 75. Oh, ok, yeah. Vamos a asumir que le preguntó ya con la scarf en mano. <ríe> Por eso no le preguntó which one. Ajá, uh -huh, go on. <ríe> Ok, uh -huh. no, 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 es, no es así como que ella me pregunte y yo le doy el precio. Mm, yeah. Sí, si la tiene así como el, a la mano o si no sabe cuál de las dos es, le pregunta. Which one? Which one? Ah, o sea, el, 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 el home match has days eh, sunglasses es como cuánto valen los cuánto Los cuesta? sunglasses, pero como uh -huh. tenemos dos, le pregunto cuál. Which ones? Tenemos los pink y los black. 
Mm. Oh, ok. Ah, ya le comprendí. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> y las scarves igual son dos y son diferentes precios. Mm -hmm. Ok. Can you, ¿Lo pueden hacer de nuevo? Ok. How much is this car? Mm. Which ones? Which one? Uh -huh. Which one? The orange one. Orange. Ah, okay. Uh, 55, 75. Oh, no. The orange one. This one. La ah, naranjada. Okay. Aquí tiene el precio. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Five, ah. 99. Oh, $5.99. Excellent. Uh -huh. That's $5.99. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. That's uh -huh. reasonable. Ok. No. Very good. Excellent. Now, we have a listening part. Eh, tenemos, vamos a ir al listening. Let me start a new share uh, to get video for the listening part. Remember that if you have not printed the material, si no lo tiene impreso, eh, lo puede trabajar en su, um, en su cuaderno. Solamente de escribir lo que está ahí en la parte gris, en el cuadrito gris. Escribir item. Item se refiere al, al objeto. Tenemos cuatro objetos. A phone, watch, sunglasses, and a shirt. Then color and price. Do they buy it? Yes or no? I'm going to give you some time for you to write down the information and then we're going to continue. Ready? Ready. Okay, so remember we're going to listen to different shopping. And first, we're going to work with the color and the price. Primero vamos a agarrar esta información, el color y el precio. Okay. Y luego la vamos a poner una vez más para completar si lo compraron o no. Ready? I'll play the recording. Se lo voy a poner una dos mm -hmm. veces para que eh, agarren la información y si no me dicen y lo vuelvo a poner. Okay. Page 18, exercise 6, listening. Look at this. Part A. Listen to two friends shopping. Write the color and price for each item. One. Look at this. It's so cool, and it's purple. It's nice, but you have a cell phone. How much is it? Let's see. Wow, it's expensive. It's $399. I guess I don't really need it. Let's go. Two. Here's a great watch for you. Which one? That white one? No, this one. This black one. Oh, that's nice. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. That's reasonable. I think I'll get it. 3. What do you think of these sunglasses? They're... interesting. How much are they? They're only $11.50. That's cheap. Try them on. They look great. Green is a good color on you. You think so? Sure. Okay, I'll get them. Four. 
I love these t-shirts. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Why don't you get one? Hmm, they're pretty expensive. I only have $20. Hey, these t-shirts aren't bad. They're only $12. Oh, those are nice too. So what color? How about this red and yellow one? Do you like it? Not really. Hey, all these shirts are red and yellow. I think that's why they're on sale. So do you want one? No, let's go. I'm hungry. It's time for lunch. Okay, I'm going to play the recording one more time so you get the information, or if you have completed, you can check. Page 18, Exercise 6, Listening. Look at this. Part A. Listen to two friends shopping. Write the color and price for each item. 1. Look at this. It's so cool, and it's purple. It's nice. But you have a cell phone. How much is it? Let's see. Wow, it's expensive. It's $399. I guess I don't really need it. Let's go. Two. Here's a great watch for you. Which one? That white one? No, this one. This black one. Oh, that's nice. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. That's reasonable. I think I'll get it. 3. What do you think of these sunglasses? They're... interesting. How much are they? They're only $11.50. That's cheap. Try them on. They look great. Green is a good color on you. You think so? Sure. Okay, I'll get them. Four. I love these t-shirts. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Why don't you get one? Hmm, they're pretty expensive. I only have $20. Hey, these t-shirts aren't bad. They're only $12. Oh, those are nice too. So what color? How about this red and yellow one? Do you like it? Not really. Hey, all these shirts are red and yellow. I think that's why they're on sale. So do you want one? No, let's go. I'm hungry. It's time for lunch. Okay, did you complete the color and price information? Did you complete the color and price information? El precio el primero y el último me faltó. Okay, you're missing one. Okay, I'll play that recording once again so that you complete that information. Page 18, exercise 6, listening. Look at this. Part A. Listen to two friends shopping. Write the color and price for each item. 1. Look at this. It's so cool, and it's purple. It's nice, but you have a cell phone. How much is it? Let's see. Wow, it's expensive. It's $399. I guess I don't really need it. Let's go. 2. Here's a great watch for you. Which one? That white one? No, this one. This black one. Oh, that's nice. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. That's reasonable. I think I'll get it. 3. What do you think of these sunglasses? They're... interesting. How much are they? They're only $11.50. That's cheap. Try them on. They look great. Green is a good color on you. You think so? Sure. Okay, I'll get them. 4. I love these t-shirts. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Why don't you get one? Hmm, they're pretty expensive. 
I only have $20. Hey, these t-shirts aren't bad. They're only $12. Oh, those are nice too. So what color? How about this red and yellow one? Do you like it? Not really. Hey, all these shirts are red and yellow. I think that's why they're on sale. So do you want one? No, let's go. I'm hungry. It's time for lunch. Okay, I hope that you have completed the information. Let's see. Um, these are the answers you should have. Uh, for the iPhones, color, purple, price, 399 Then, for the watch, color is black and the price is $9.95. Then a number three for the fun the sunglasses, the color is green and the price is eleven fifty. Then the shirt, it's color red and yellow, and the price is twelve dollars. Were your answers correct? It's correct. Awesome. Very good. Okay, now let's complete the next part. In part B, we are going to check if they buy the item or not. Page 18, exercise six, part B. Listen again. Do they buy the items? Check yes or no. One. Look at this. It's so cool, and it's purple. It's nice, but you have a cell phone. How much is it? Let's see. Wow, it's expensive. It's $399. I guess I don't really need it. Let's go. Two. Here's a great watch for you. Which one? That white one? No, this one. This black one. Oh, that's nice. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. That's reasonable. I think I'll get it. Three. What do you think of these sunglasses? They're interesting. How much are they? They're only $11.50. That's cheap. Try them on. They look great. Green is a good color on you. You think so? Sure. Okay, I'll get them. Four. I love these t-shirts. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Why don't you get one? Hmm, they're pretty expensive. I only have $20. Hey, these t-shirts aren't bad. They're only $12. Oh. Those are nice, too. So, what color? How about this red and yellow one? Do you like it? Not really. Hey, all these shirts are red and yellow. I think that's why they're on sale. So, do you want one? No, let's go. I'm hungry. It's time for lunch. Okay, for the number one, the fun. Do they buy it? Yes or no? No. 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 What about the watch? Yes. Expensive. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yes. So for the fun? Yes. Oh, oh, well, no. They didn't buy it. The watch? Yes. Sunglasses, yes. And the t-shirt, no. How was it? Was it easy or difficult? So, so. Okay. Now for the next exercise, um, 
we have this clean market and we're going to do like a similar role play to the ones that we did before. And we're going to assign prices to these items for the TV, the lamp, the speakers, and the watch. Let's imagine that you want to sell these things. So you have to ask in price, write the asking price here. Vamos a asignarles un precio a cada cosa. Let me know when you finish assigning prices. Ahí en las speakers solo son las bocinas, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Le ponemos centavos. Sí, centavos. Yes. <laughs> so you practice the para que practiquen los números cantidades precios ok finish ok so we're going to do role plays like the ones that we did before vamos a hacer las conversaciones como las que hicimos eh, Al principio, A is the one that wants to buy the things. Quien sea A va, va a querer comprar algo. Y B es quien vende. Ustedes tienen los precios de cada cosa. Y luego vamos a regatear. ¿Saben cómo se dice regatear en inglés? No. Bargain. Ahí se los puse en el chat de la mini. Se dice bargain. Bargain. Para regatear, ven en la parte B donde dice un, um, vemos, it says, how much is the lamp? It's only 30. Y el comprador dice, wow, that's expensive. Y el vendedor es como, well, how about 25? No, that is still too much. I'll give you 20 for it. As a sold, it's yours. <laughs> Ajá, están como hace un pequeño regateo y ahí se ponen de acuerdo con el precio, etc. Y ahí tienen eh, las expresiones que se pueden usar. So, let's see. Uh, for asking price. Let's see, we're going to start. Por ejemplo, si yo le puse al TV en precio. Pero este text of your this one okay for the tv for example ouch no me agarre text okay ahorita creo que sí that tv ah vamos a ponerle un precio ya ese televisor es historia debe ser algo caro tiene un valor histórico <laughs> ah
Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Alexander, ask for the price for the TV. Usted quiere comprar el televisor. Oh, okay. How much is the TV? It's $125.68. Wow, that's expensive. Mm, well, how about $125? No, that is still too much. I I, I will give you uh, 80 for it. Okay, I really need the money, so that's okay. It's yours. Okay. <laughs> okay, entonces aquí le pongo que lo vendí en cuanto en 80. Okay, sold for 80. <laughs> Eso lo pueden hacer o lo pueden dejar así, no importa. But yes, uh, that is the idea of the exercise. That I, thank you, Alexander. Era para mostrarles cómo lo vienen a hacer. Now, um... Let's continue with uh, Glenda and Douglas. Hello, con la lámpara. Okay, Glenda quiere vender la lámpara o comprarla. Um, comprarla, quizá. Okay, Douglas. Ahí le llega una compradora. Action. Ask for the lamp, Glenda. How much is the lamp? It's only 3345. Wow, that's mm, cheap. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. No voy a regatear yo. De no, maldita. okay, that's cheap. Entonces, ¿cómo le diría? Me la llevo. <laughs> Ajá, ¿cómo decía me lo llevo? Eh, no me acuerdo. No I'll remember. take it. I'll, I'll take it. I take it. Ok. Douglas. Um. Thanks for shopping. Come back soon. <laughs> ok. Thanks for shopping. Okay, now you want to buy something, Douglas, from Glenda. You want to buy something, you want to purchase something from Glenda. Hola. <laughs> Douglas, what do you want to purchase? ¿Qué quiere comprar de Glenda? The speakers, a lamp, a watch. La lam Glenda quería comprar la lámpara. Uh -huh. Sí. Ahora usted tiene que comprar algo de Glenda. Okay. Pueden ser speakers o el watch. Watch. Ok. Ah. How much is the watch? It's only 11.35. 11.35. 11.35. Ok. I'll take it. Oh, thank you for. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your purchase. Gracias por su compra. Or thank you for shopping. For shopping. Okay, you're very good. Uh, let's see, we have Guillermo and Douglas. Are you ready, Guillermo and Douglas? Okay. Okay, Guillermo, you want to purchase from Douglas? Perfect. Eh, how much is the lamp? No, quiero ver con cuál le vamos a dar. Con cualquiera. Con cualquiera. Bye, ok. Entonces, con la lámpara de manera está, está muy fácil. <risa> Te lo voy a vender. Eh, para que... ah. Dele. Bueno, vamos pues. Eh, How much is the lamp? It's only 
Fifty-five. Fifty. Wow, that's expensive. Well, how about thirty five? Fifty. Um, no thank no, thank you. Is is lit too much? I am here it do um ten ten fifteen. Ten fifteen for it for it. Is that okay? Ten fifty for it. I'm Dura. sorry. You can say I'm sorry. Lo ofreció diez, ¿no? Sí, diez cincuenta. Como el veinte por ciento. Okay. ¿Y la va a vender o no? ¿Y el vendedor qué dice? Muy poquito le ofrecí. <laughs> okay, so you, see, you can say, no, I'm sorry, I can't give you that price. Uh -huh. So you say you're sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't buy those price. Oh, okay, you cannot sell it for that price. Okay. So, well, now, material. The word power is about the materials. We have the vocabulary here for materials. We have cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wool. Do you have any question about this vocabulary for the materials? Do you have questions about the vocabulary for the material vocabulary? Rubber. Uh, rubber is a caucho. Mm. Caucho. Mm -hmm. Y wool? Wool is lana. Okay. Lana. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Silk. Silk. Silk is seda. Seda. Okay, now what you're supposed to do is to complete. What are these things made of? So we have to answer this. What are these things made of? Number one, we already have it as an example, a silk tie. You're going to complete the rest of them and then we're going to check.
Lo dejaré unos minutitos. Solo atiendo algo. Oiga. Ok, ok. Unos minutitos nada más. Ok. Creo que ya. Ok. Uh, we are going to check together. Ok. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, what do you have in number two? What is that? Rubber. Uh, number two, a uh, rubber bracelet. Yeah. Ah, ah, ok, that is a plastic. Yo a la voz les puse de plástico. Ok, the, the bracelet is a plastic bracelet. Number three, what do you have in number three? A gold ring. Mm -hmm. yeah, a gold ring, very good. Four? A cotton shirt. Mm. Excellent. A cotton shirt. And number five. A leather jacket. Good. A leather jacket. That's correct. Number six. A uh, silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Excellent. And number seven. Rubber boots. A uh, rubber boots. Rubber yes. boots. Rubber boots. And finally, eight. A uh, wool socks. Wool uh, socks. Yeah. Uh huh. Will stop. Okay. Uh, now we have the vocabulary. Uh, uh, it is time to practice this conversation. So as you can see here, they are probably just watching. He is holding two sweaters. Okay. We're going to listen first. And then we're going to define some vocabulary and practice it. Page 19, exercise 9, conversation. I prefer the blue one. Part A, listen and practice. These wool sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this sweater? It's $139. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Questions? Warmer. Warmer es más cálido. Más cálido. Calientito. Ok. 
the next question. I'll play the recording one more time and I'll give you a chance for you to repeat after you listen. Page 19, Exercise 9, Conversation. I prefer the blue one. Part A, Listen and Practice. These wool sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The The green one. Why? It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this sweater? It's $139. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Do we have three volunteers to our bank? We need the bread, son, and the clerk. Sorry, I am back. Okay, I'm okay. Douglas, can you be, uh, can you role play Brett, Glenda, Lisa, and uh, let's see, Alexander the clerk? Okay. okay. These gold sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue ones. It's more stylish than the green one. Um, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the sweater? It's 139. Would you like to try it on? No, thanks, okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Very well done. Now, um, Alexander, can you be breath? Then we continue with Douglas, with Alyssa, and Glenda, the clerk. Okay. Okay. Uh, this gold, no, these wool sweater are are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one, why? It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer to the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. 
Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this word? It's 139. Well, you like to try it on. Oh, no. Thanks, okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, you did it really nice. Uh, very nice with the conversation, the pronunciation, and the, you sound very fluent. <laughs> Ya, yeah, sonó Thank bastante you. fluido, bastante natural. Hicieron un excelente trabajo con la pronunciación también. So, no tengo nada que decir. Solo congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> you did it great. Uh, now, let's complete the part B. This is just a listening practice for part B. It says, listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? So let's pay attention and try to get the information of the two questions. What does Brett buy and what does Lisa think of it? Page 19, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? Wow. That sweater is really expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, look. There are some things on sale over there. Oh, you're right. These shirts are really nice. And they're cheap, too. I like this one. Is it cotton? Let's see. Yes, it is. It looks nice on you. The colors are really cool. Great. I'll take it. You want to listen one more time? Yes, please. One more time. Okay. Page 19, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? Wow, that sweater is really expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, look. There are some things on sale over there. Oh, you're right. These shirts are really nice. And they're cheap, too. I like this one. Is it cotton? Let's see. Yes, it is. It looks nice on you. The colors are really cool. Great. I'll take it. Did you get the information? What does Brett buy? The sweater. On a t-shirt, compro, creo. Uh-huh, because the sweater is too expensive, he said. Uh-huh, so I think, yes, he bought a t-shirt. And what does Lisa think of it? Uh, Lisa thinks uh, looks nice on you. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Let's listen and read. Page 19, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? Wow, that sweater is really expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, look. There are some things on sale over there. Oh, you're right. These shirts are really nice. And they're cheap, too. I like this one. Is it cotton? Let's see. Yes, it is. It looks nice on you. The colors are really cool. Great. I'll take it. Okay, so yes. Uh, he bought a t-shirt. And Lisa thinks that the t-shirt looks nice on him and that the colors are cool. So that's good. All right. 
Uh, moving on, we have uh, this exercise about comparison with adjectives. I added some more information here about the comparatives, such as like more. Eh, para los comparativos, okay? Como ya vieron, están haciendo comparaciones aquí. Eh, ¿Cuál es más cálido? ¿Cuál es más barato? Etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Y para hacer comparaciones eh, necesitamos saber un par de cosas o repasar. Para los cuales agregué esta información aquí en el folletito que les mandé por WhatsApp ayer. Comparatives. How do we form comparative statements? Study the grammar reference chart below. Ok. Adjectives with one syllable. Para hacer comparaciones, recuerden que solo son dos cosas. Ok. Solo podemos hacer comparación cuando son dos cosas, dos objetos, dos personas, pero solo entre dos. Entonces, si son de una sílaba, la palabra o el adjetivo. Recuerden que el adjetivo es lo que está describiendo. En este caso tenemos call y nice. Esos son los adjetivos. Si son de una sílaba, ¿cómo sabemos si es de una sílaba de dos o de tres? Es por el sonido. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos call, call, solo se escucha un sonido, una sílaba, call, nice, nice. Ambos son de una sílaba. Eh, cuando tienen solamente una sílaba, se le agrega er al adjetivo y luego el dan para hacer la comparación. Por ejemplo, cold nos quedaría colder than. Y aquí tenemos un ejemplo. In Canada, winter is colder than summer. Estamos comparando dos estaciones. Eh, Canadá, el invierno es más frío que el verano. Eh, nice. Como el adjetivo nice ya termina en E, solo se le agrega R. Nicer than. Chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry ice cream. Así nos queda haciendo la comparación. Cuando son de más, eh, de dos o de más sílabas, por ejemplo, ven boring. Tiene dos sílabas. Boring. Expensive. Expensive es de tres. Entonces, cuando son de dos o más sílabas, se le agrega more antes del, adjet, antes del adjetivo. Luego el adjetivo en sí, y al adjetivo aquí no se le agrega nada. Y luego se procede a poner el done. Entonces, por ejemplo, con boring nos quedaría more boring than. Un ejemplo de oración, I think golf is more boring than baseball. Ahora expensive, expensive. Ya dijimos que es de tres sílabas. Entonces nos agregamos more antes del adjetivo. Luego el adjetivo tal cual y luego el than. More expensive than. Como ejemplo tenemos, this restaurant is more expensive than that restaurant. Ahora. Tenemos una, algo que es como una excepción. Cuando los adjetivos de dos sílabas terminan en Y, eh, se le va a cambiar la Y por latina y se agrega ER y luego el DAN. Early. Son dos sonidos, ¿verdad? Dos sílabas. Early. Ha, ti. Cuando es y ambos terminan en Y. Entonces, si se fijan, se cambió la Y por Y latina, luego se agregó el R y luego el DAN. Earlier than and happier than. Veamos el ejemplo con early. We arrived at the school earlier than I did. John looks happier than David. Y luego hay adjetivos que. Eh, tienen dos características, single vowel and a consonant, double the final letter before adding that. Tenemos estos que son de una sílaba y tiene estrés, o sea, hay una fuerza de voz en ellos. Se duplica la última consonante y se agrega ER y luego el DAN. Tenemos como ejemplo los adjetivos big y hot. Como si, si ustedes pueden notarlo, ambos tienen fuerza de voz. Y 
hot. Son como explosivos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si se fijan bien, uh, ya haciendo comparativo, se le agrega, duplica la G. Hot duplica la T, que son la última consonante de, de cada cual de ellas, y luego el, el DAN. Y luego ven el ejemplo aquí para Big. Russia is bigger than Canada. And then hot, hotter. In my country, August is hotter than January. Y finalmente tenemos adjetivos que son irregulares. ¿Qué quiere decir? Quiere decir que ellos no siguen las reglas que acabamos de mencionar, sino que ellos cambian totalmente. Por ejemplo, good, no se dice gooder, se dice better. Better than good changes to better than. Bad changes to worse, worse than. And far changes to further than or further than. Con far puede ser de cualquiera de los dos, significa lo mismo. Farther or further than. Do we have any questions? Okay. Luego de esto, aquí tenemos como un summary. Tenemos eh, nuevamente lo que discutíamos anteriormente, pero como más eh, eh, resumido, ¿verdad? Para que lo tengan en la misma paginita en donde vamos a proceder a completar los siguientes ejercicios. Fill in the blank below to complete the sentences. Study the above boxes. Eh, como estamos haciendo comparaciones, recuerden que vamos a ir utilizando siempre el verbo to be, ¿verdad? En este caso, I am taller than my sister, con el adjetivo que tenemos ahí eh, entre paréntesis. I am taller than my sister. Ahora, continuamos con los demás y luego vamos a revisar su trabajo.
finish. To start the first of them. Uh, okay, and uh, you have the remote control. Can you complete the number two, three, and four? Okay, <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, Vileda. You did it excellent. So all those answers are correct. Uh -huh. So it's this year, Jan. Yes, it is correct. He escribió bien aplicando la regla de, de los pies con Y, right? So good. Um, Harder down with WT. And are you done? Excellent, Glenda. Thanks. Okay, Douglas, can you continue with five, six, and seven? Five, six, and seven. Mm. Elephants. Pretty good, pretty good, but elephants are. Uh -huh, because it is plural, it's time plural. Elephants are bigger than good, Douglas. Continue with six and seven. Exciting. Uh, something is missing. That is pretty good. Muy bien, pero algo va faltando ahí. Action movies. Uh, no, before exciting. ¿Qué decíamos con los que son de dos o más sílabos? Are excellent, are more exciting than. Better than, excellent Douglas, thank you so much. Salad. What about salad? Douglas, can you complete that one too? Salads are. More. Mm. 
more healthier or only healthier or more healthy? Acuérdense que cuando usamos el more, el adjetivo no se cambia, no se le agrega er. More healthy than hamburger. Uh -huh. More healthy than. Esos de dos sílabas también pueden uh, eh, aplicarle la, la, así como lo estaba escribiendo Douglas, pero sin el more al, al principio. That is very good. Now let's see. Thank you so much, Douglas. Eh, Alexander. Can you help us with number nine to 12? Alexander. Nice. Nice es solo de una sílaba. Entonces, con los de una sílaba, no usamos el more. Con los de una sílaba es er, pero como nice ya termina en e, solo vamos a agregar la er. Are nicer. Ajá. Dan. Are nicer than. Okay. Danger. 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 Uh, lions are, uh huh, more dangerous than very good, are more dangerous than. Very good. Now let's move to 11, the sun. Far is irregular. El far es irregular, remember. Let me help you with that. Okay, uh, remember that S is irregular, so some part, we must start farther than. Entonces, so let's have this. Farther than. Is farther than. Y como de una sílaba, pues, solo e er, far, farther, pero es irregular, entonces, Dejamos con esta escritura far farther con TH. Eso es lo que cambia. Con bad, that hotel is. Bad también es irregular. Cambia a worse. Bad es irregular. Les tendría que haber quedado worse. That hotel is worse than this hotel. Far. Cars es plural, usamos R. Luego, past es de una sílaba. Faster than. 
কমেডি Con los que son de dos sílabas todavía pueden aplicar la otra regla, ¿verdad? De la de ER. Entonces nos quedaría funnier than. Pero solo con los de dos. Pueden hacer eso o ponerlo así como lo habíamos hecho al principio. Y con los de tres sílabas, ahí sí no. Ahí todos tienen que ir con el more, el adjective tal cual es, y luego el than. Eh, y la última, I am um. nervous. Ahí sí quedaría raro poner nervous here. <ríe> Entonces, pues a veces por eso nos guiamos, ¿verdad? I'm more nervous than my friend. Ahí sí, quedaría muy feo aplicarle la otra. A veces sí se puede, a veces no. Y así con, miramos con este, es un tema que requiere algo de práctica. Entonces, eh, para la próxima, tal vez les ponga algo más de los adjectives, que sería la próxima clase, el próximo viernes, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. próximo viernes. <ríe> ok, see you uh, next Friday. Remember to Yo work creo on que no es viernes, viernes, solo es sábado. sábado. Solo es sábado. Sábado, sí, porque entramos lunes y salimos viernes en la tarde. Entonces, van a descansar ajá, estamos, sábado y lunes. Bueno, entonces, sábado, sábado, domingo, lunes, tenemos, lunes. Solo lunes, el sábado, lunes. creo que tendríamos de clase. Ah, sí, cuando son domingos se los dejan, ¿verdad? Libres. Ok. Ajá. Ok, very good. Thank you so much for reminding me. Gracias por recordarme. Así que entonces sería hasta el sábado. Traten de practicar y pues. Eh, eh, practiquen entre semana como puedan y desarrollen los ejercicios de la plataforma. Cualquier pregunta pueden escribir al chat para poder ayudar. Okay? Okay. Enjoy okay. your okay. weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Oh, okay.